Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to talk about grinding your own flour at home with a grain mill. This was a requested video, which I always love getting those. And if you have requests for videos that you'd like to see, be sure to leave me a comment below. Don't mind all the kid and baby noises in the background. They're all just playing around while I'm doing these videos for you guys. But the way this works is you have the main lid off of this compartment while you're using it. And then it connects with this little hose to this compartment here. And this has a lid that snaps on and off a little part here that comes off that basically keeps the flour from blowing out. It lets the air come through the top and then the flour, once it's ground, stays in this bin. So you just have that lid on, connect the two. You have a little screen material in this top to also filter just air coming out so that flour doesn't blow out. There's a dial on the front where you can choose the coarseness or fineness of the grind and then you turn it on you pour some grains into it slowly. You let it cycle through, and then once you hear that it's done grinding all of those, then you turn it off, and then you'll see that in this compartment there is freshly ground flour. And then you can repeat that as many times as you want to get the quantity of flour that you want. I generally try to store my whole grains as whole grains long term, and then grind smaller amounts of flour as I need it. The grain mill that I use is this one. This one has been, I guess, in my family for a long time. My grandma actually is the one who bought it, and my mom used it for a long time after her. So I guess that says a lot for the company. Um, the company is Grain Master Whisper Mill. So I will try to find the closest thing. I don't know if they still make this exact one, but I'll try to find the closest thing that I can and link it below if you're in the market for one. Another great place to look for a grain mill is Craigslist or even eBay or Facebook Marketplace. You don't have to pay full price for one, definitely. You can find one that somebody has used a little bit or maybe not at all and save money that way. There are also hand crank grain mills too if you want to go that route. So why grind your own flour at home? When you grind your own flour at home from whole grains, you get a much higher quality flour than you would if you go to the store and buy flour. And the reason is, when you, as soon as grains are ground into flour, they start to oxidize and a lot of the nutrients are lost. So the longer that flour sits around, the more of those nutrients are lost. Some of the really fragile antioxidants like vitamin E are lost very quickly. So by grinding your own flour at home and using it freshly ground, you get to enjoy all those benefits without them being gone or oxidizing. It's also really nice because you can control different things like exactly which grains you want to grind, how finely you want them ground, and different things like that. My favorite place to buy whole grains for grinding is from a company called Azure Standard. I have been using them for the whole entire time that I've had my own home. My mom used Azure Standard for years while I was growing up and we've always been really happy with them. They're a wonderful company. They have very high quality groceries and food items of all different kinds. They have a huge selection. So they're a co-op, which means that you order on a monthly basis. You find a group in your area who wants to order and you all order and it really saves that's one of the things that makes Azure one of the more affordable places to get really high quality organic groceries and produce. And then once a month that drop will come and you all meet the truck and get your items and then bring them home. So I will leave a link below where you can find them online and give them a try. The different types of grains that I like to grind are spelt grain, that's what I have here. I like to grind rye, I like to grind soft white wheat and hard white wheat just depending on what I'm baking and what type of qualities I want from the flour. You don't have to feel intimidated by starting to grind your own flour at home. It's really simple and doable. You can easily work it into your baking routine. It doesn't take that much time. And like I said, when you're grinding it yourself, then you get all those great benefits of much higher nutrition from the freshly ground grains versus flour that's been sitting around for a while. I have other videos where I show how to make a sourdough starter, how to make some sourdough bread, following the recipe in the Nourishing Traditions cookbook. I also show how to make 
some sourdough hamburger buns, a sourdough pizza crust. So if you're interested in those, I'll have some of those linked below. Definitely check them out. So leave me a comment below and let me know what is your favorite thing to bake and what kind of flours do you like using? Be sure and check out the description box below where I have a link to Azure Standard where you can give them a try. I think you'll be really happy with them. There'll also be a link to a good grain mill similar to this one below. But like I said, definitely check for secondhand options for saving money too. If you have any questions about any of this or if you have ideas for other video topics that you'd like me to do, leave me a comment. All right, I hope that you enjoyed seeing a little bit about how I grind my own flour at home, the grain mill, the grains that I use and all of that. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would be interested in it. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.